Well, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, May 12th, 13th. Oh, 12th. Tomorrow's Friday the 13th. So today we got um, <clears throat> 17 yards we got to do. We already got one done. Uh, my guy's walking up now with the weed eater. Uh, so yeah, 17 to do today and a whole lot of uh, comments to go over. Um, so we need to... I got three pages of comments. <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. Love it. Uh, so we got to take care of that today too. Um, so we'll find some time to do that and um, also get our lesson for the day in. Uh, so if we can get through with these 17 today before the afternoon storms come, then we got... Uh, four houses to pressure wash tomorrow with a back porch a, a small concrete back porch a front walkway from the front door down and then a driveway and a sidewalk uh, so tomorrow is a big day um, four houses and all that concrete work so tomorrow is a good a good financial day and it's a big day so uh, let's just go ahead and get right into it and we're gonna start our first uh, comment question right now so the first question is let's go ahead what video software do you use um, priority cuts lawn care I use um, magic's movie edit pro 2015 um, because Windows 8 point something doesn't come with movie maker anymore and I downloaded movie maker but it doesn't work with any of my cameras. It keeps saying that that video, that um, that file is not supported, so I can't import it into Movie Maker and use it. So um, I bought Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2015, and there's all types of online tutorials on YouTube that show you how to do like neat things. So that's what I use. Um, all right, so we just finished lawns two and three. And we did the tree, we finished it, she did have me top it a little bit, and then my guy went through and he ground down the, the grass that I sprayed the other day. So we're done with that, so now we're going to head home and start really knocking them out. We'll get, we'll get to uh, some more of your questions here in just a minute. Alright, so we got three in one area done, we got the tree and we got the weeds done, right? Um, so that's important. And we got two in this area done, we got one more to go, so that'll be another group of three in this area. Then we're going to head on down toward my house, we're going to do three across the street. Um, which require two of them required a small mower so We'll get those three done that will put us at about 1230 that'll be nine and all travel done and we'll let my dogs out then I'll put a burger in this guy's gullet for lunch and then we're going to uh, Knock out nine more. We got 18 on the schedule today. So we're gonna knock out nine more I thought it was 17. It's 18 one of them. I don't have written down um, The nine that we got to do is all on one street and you just drive around that street um, so but let's get to another question uh, so that one guy hey Dan what do you use for weed grass killer I've been using roundup extended control but I'm sure what you're using is more professional so this is what I use for weed killing let's go prosecutor pro non-selective herbicide so that means it kills anything green all right and it's got 41 percent of the glyphosate now, I was told 3% or three, uh, 3 ounces per gallon. I didn't have much luck with that. I go about 4 ounces per gallon and it's awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, and then I just mix it with about an ounce of some dishwashing soap. And uh, call, it, call it quits from there. So, uh, it's going to kill it. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I put it in my backpack sprayer and uh, just went around and spray. Got to watch that mist because it will kill anything green. So, uh, let's go prosecutor. And it was like, uh, it's like 75 bucks for uh, two and a half gallons. And if you're um, on their wholesale list, like as a, uh, you know, as a contractor or whatever, you give them your, your articles of corporation or your business license or something, proof that you're, you know, not just a homeowner, then I actually paid less than 60 bucks for that. Um, and it lasts a very long time. So uh, that's it. That's what I use. So I went to Walmart last night, got a, uh, got some weight, some 20 pounders. But see, I got more over here too. Back behind the bike, some fives, some tens, some fifteens. Um, so I got a stand so I could put them on. Got a pull-up bar, which also does push-ups, which is nice because with your hands elevated, you can go a little bit deeper, get a deeper stretch in your chest. And then uh, I got a slant bench, um, which I like because then you could do crunches and 
um, sit-ups and leg lifts and of course dumbbell work small investment do a little workout inside my home a couple nights a week um, some curls some military presses do some pull-ups push-ups French curls that's about it maybe some lunges maybe some standing squats holding dumbbells letting the dogs out is over uh, got me a soda so I'm gonna sip on that diet cherry Pepsi my freaking wife ex-wife got me hooked on that um, so I'm having a diet cherry Pepsi which is fantastic I love the flavor um, and I left my guy here to weed eat we got these last three in my neighborhood mowed edged and he's weed eating so I'm gonna fall in now and blow them off it's 12 10 and I'm going to snatch him up, blow these yards off, snatch him up, and we're going to run on over to Subway, grab a sub, and then we got nine yards to do on one street. All on one street. So all the driving's over, all the tree work and grinding weeds down is over. All that's done. So let's go to another question real fast here. Let me get my old man glasses on. I'm in my neighborhood. There's no cars around, so I feel kind of safe. Um... Okay, uh, Brunessa, do you install mulch or just pine straw? Oh no, I do it all, brother. Um, I do mulch, pine straw, rock, sod, whatever. Um, it's just that pine straw up here is very popular because it's really inexpensive and it goes a very far away, very far distance. I mean, one bale of pine straw will do like the distance of seven bags of mulch just about it's amazing how far pine straw goes and at three dollars and fifty cents a bale you know you charge seven dollars a bale installed you know for 140 bucks people are getting their whole property re pine strawed you know 20 bales they're getting their whole property down the side of their house everything re pine strawed beautiful gorgeous beds um, you know with labor you couldn't even do that just the material um, doing that with mulch. Um, rock is even worse. I mean, rock is absolutely ridiculous around here. But uh, but I do it. So hopefully that that answers your question. Let's get another one in real fast before we show up to this next property. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Quit making fun of my glasses. I need to get a joke of the day up today too. Uh, so the next one. Three pages, guys. <laughs> The next one um, from Tyler Stump. Hmm, there it is. Dan, would you say that the straight shaft edger attachment for the KM90 is worth the price? Would you recommend it? I don't remember what the price was, but dude, I'd go out and buy one again right now. And if somebody stole that one today, I'd go buy another one tomorrow. And if somebody stole that one, I'd go buy another one tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Does that answer your question? Yes, that thing's bad to the bone, man. It's got a slower gear ratio. So it doesn't kick shit like really bad all over the place, but it's got so much torque behind it with that KM90 motor that I have, the Combi system. It's awesome, man. Highly recommend the edger attachment. Highly, highly, the straight edger attachment. I don't know about Steel's curve shaft. I got an Echo steel shaft or curve shaft, whatever. As far as the straight shaft, the, the steel straight shaft, highly recommend it, man. Bad to the bone. So. All right, I'm pulling up now. Let me get on my blower. We'll get these this, these yards blown off, and then um, we'll uh, we're gonna head over, grab some subway, and then we got nine yard marathon to do, man. Nine yards. All right, so we just finished lunch. It's one o'clock, pretty much straight up. We got nine yards to do. We gotta do nine, but we gotta do try to average like three an hour. So we got one here, one there, and then a group of three, and then a single. So by three o'clock, I'd like to have six done. And then that'll leave three to go for the last. Um, and then we need to get into some more comments. So let's start knocking these out and we'll get into some more of your comments, um, your questions and comments, and take it from there. It's kind of hard to vlog a lot when I got old boy in my car. So today's vlog is going to be a little bit uh, more Q&A. Well, I don't know what time it is and I'm not looking. Well, we got two done. And I sent him on with the push mower up the road here to right there to start the backyard. We have three that have to have the backyards done with the little mower. So I sent him on one. Uh, okay, so he's there. So I'm going to fall in on these right now with the big mower. And there's one, two, three. And then we'll see where we're at. That'll be five yards. So I hope we'll be done with these five yards by 245. The heat is on. So we got this 
Group of three done. 250. He's blowing off the last one. So we're a few minutes behind schedule. We just finished our 14th lawn by 250. 251. He's blowing off the last one, so that'll take him two or three minutes. But uh, so three o'clock, we got 14 lawns done, plus lunch, and let the dogs out. And we did the tree. We shaped that tree up a little bit more, um, and we ground down the weeds uh, in the flower beds substantially. So uh, we're not really doing too bad, but I got to keep an eye on him. He's getting really hot. Uh, he's getting really tired. So know your guides. We're going to talk about that later on. So let me get out there. I'll go get the backyard real fast and we'll move on. All right, 312. That's 15 done. He'll be out in just a minute. It's all blown off and everything. He'll be from the backyard here. Just a minute. So we got one more real simple one to do. We might get back on track for 330. Real close. This next one's a real quickie. And then the next two, he has to small mow the backyard. So probably going to be a 430 day. Close to 5. It's going to be epic though. It's an epic financial day. Um, damn near 800 today. Between the 18 yards and uh, grinding down the weeds at that one yard, grinding down the grass to charge for that. Can't complain. But I mean, hey, I'm not going to lie. I'm jumping around. We're going to talk about it when I go home. The vlog will continue when I go home. Um, I'll talk to you guys while I'm doing some editing. While I'm, while I'm working on these clips and this camera's downloading, I'll use my other camera and we'll continue it when I get home. Uh, I gotta try to get these last three done. He's gotta pick his wife up from work at five. Uh, so I gotta try to get out of here. I got three yards to do in an hour and 45 minutes. No, in an hour and 15 minutes to get him out of here like 4.30. Uh, an hour and 15 minutes, three yards. It's gonna be close. He's tired. He's really, really tired. Um, and he was up at like 1.30 in the morning because, you know, like I said, he's a contractor. He does his own things. He was. He started doing things at 1.30 this morning, um, doing something for a local newspaper here. Not delivering newspapers, but I think I think he does something with the, the you put the quarter in and you open, you know, whatever, the, the bins that hold newspapers. He does something with those, I don't know what, fills them or stocks them or something, I don't know. Um, but he, he is tired. So the next yard that we're gonna do, I'll big mow and I'll just have him edge and weed eat nice and easy. Um, let him catch his energy back up from, from small mowing these last two yards that he did. And then uh, then he's going to have one more push where he's going to have to small mow a backyard and uh, then jump on the edger. And I will big mow both yards and uh, jump on the weed eater and then he can start blowing off and we'll get out of there. So, here we go, guys. Well, guys, we didn't make it. Had to get home. 16 yards in on the 16th yard he's vomiting bad so, he's all right to drive but he threw up all his fluids he threw up his lunch and i don't think it was heat exhaustion i think it, i just think subway didn't sit right with them but you know when you throw up now you know you get you get that headache and everything and so i told him i said look man I need to get you back I need to get you home and you need to get some fluids in you and stuff so we'll uh I was like what do you got for tomorrow he's like nothing I'm like all right man I'm gonna pay you today for everything I want to pay you you know like we were gonna as if we were gonna finish I said but tomorrow you come back to my house 7 30 in the morning you head out weed eater edger mower hand blower and I took him to the last two yards we had to do on that street and I showed him the property lines and he's done it before he's done the yards before with me so I'm like well I'm out pressure washing you just start knocking these two out finish these two up here's your money so tomorrow at 730 I'm gonna have him here so he can start doing that and uh, that way he doesn't he doesn't cheat himself out of his pay I didn't want to short him short him and I, and I need my yards done, but tomorrow is supposed to rain, so I don't know what's going to happen. But they're not very important yards, but it's only four. So we could have done it, but we're home. We're at the house now. Still an awesome, 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 awesome day financially. 
So let's go ahead and let's go inside. Finish up this vlog today. Hey guys, Daddy's home. How you guys doing? Did you get in my dishwasher? Had it open to dry. I did the the sink, the strainer, and everything. Did some stuff. Give it a really good cleaning. Did you guys eat anything? No. Everything looks pretty good. It's colored crayon, but that's all right. Looks like you guys are good boys. Let's go potty. Let's go outside. So we're home. Go get them, guys. Go get them. So let me go ahead and uh, switch cameras here and start transferring these files over, and we'll use the other camera. That one. I need to do a. Um, I need to do a video on on my tech stuff to show you guys what all we got going on now. All right, um, stand by. So I have the craziest dog. This one, this little terrorist. He takes his nose, and he digs his food out. You give him. Yeah, the camera's on, Goofy. Excuse me. What are you doing? Excuse me. This is this is Rocky. What are you doing, buddy? Let me let me clean up this mess. Can I clean up this mess? So he takes his nose and he and he digs it all through the bowl, looking like like Cracker Jacks, looking for the prize. And then this one over here likes to take balled up paper and then just chew on it. it it's they got their quirks, man. These guys are crazy. So every day I come home, I have to clean up dog food. Now I used to keep their dog food in the kitchen. The problem is these little pellets would be all over the place and a real pain in the butt. So at least on the carpet it's easy for me to snatch up and clean. And then I just get it with the vacuum. Crazy dogs, man. Which I vacuumed yesterday. I need a vacuum today. It's just never ending. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I do after my day is over. So here's what I do. I come home and I drop my papers here. Here's all y'all's comments and we still need to go through these comments. And I take my little Sony action cam and I plug it into my computer's USB cable and go ahead and I open up the file for the action camera, open it up on my computer, cut it from the camera's file and paste it into my vlog file on my hard drive so that way my, com my, com my camera is now empty and ready for tomorrow now it's just going to stay on there and charge overnight um, so now from here I'm ready to work the files and those are the individuals the individual uh, video files from today so far plus what we got now going on with this camera so normally when I don't have my guy with me and we can do a lot more talking and a lot more video and, and mowing vids and I'm not, you know, um, I'm not sitting here trying to get 18 yards done by 4.30, 4 o'clock, um, the files are much longer. So normally I walk in the door, I plug everything in, just like I explained it, and then while the files are going onto the hard drive, I go back out there and I disconnect my trailer, which I just did. I disconnect my trailer, empty out the back of my truck of whatever, you know, the day's, the day's work. And um, I'll come into my room, get undressed, which we're not going to do on camera because I don't want anybody to go blind. And uh, we take a shower, right? So my shower is ready to rock. I just need to get a towel. There I am. Everybody say hi. Say hi to you. Uh, man, I'm a mess. So normally I'd be in the shower right now, getting totally showered up. I keep my door shut now because of the terrorist. You see, he's all up in my pillows. You're crazy, dog. Yeah, I know. I love you too. Um, so normally I'd be in the shower right now and this would still be going. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to pretend that this is still going. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to jump in the shower, and I'll be back all nice and clean. And we're going to sit down, and I'm going to start editing the video, and we're going to have a little lesson. Uh, we're going to talk, and we're going to do some more Q&A. All right, so let's do, um, let's do some more 
uh, comments and some questions, whatever, and uh, start knocking these out because we got a lot that I, I want to kind of talk about today. So, all right, mow and go grass cutting of CF, and I believe it is Central Florida, mow and grow grass cutting of Central Florida. Uh, see, uh, hello Dan, keep up the vids, love them. Well, thank you buddy. Uh, what happened to when the kid threw the brick at you over a year ago? Okay, I got a video up that explains it. It's a pretty long video. Um, and it says Angry X customer update. So please go back probably February and find that video because I went at it with the DA. It was not cool, it was ugly. It was really ugly. Um, I made my point and you know looking back i did everything i can do um you know what can i say uh, it, it turned out the way it turned out and that kid if he's not in the system again he will be for sure um, but i did do a video that explains it all um so the next one little bear farm let's throw your comment right there the house after the tree job needs to be surfaced cleaned time to upsell keep it up brother and remember keep your blade sharp and your mind sharper so that's not really a question but little bear farm i want to give him a little recognition because i was looking for a motto um last year and he came up with that keep your blade sharp and your mind sharper with trimmers um and i like that i like that a lot so every time little bear farm talks to me uh comments to me he always puts that in there so little bear farm i just want to say thank you dude um, I really do like that at all, um, or really do like that at all. I really do like that. So I, don't, I, I was reading something. Sorry, um, Miguel at Dan at Dan another at Dan. Uh, any tips for washing stucco homes? And then Donna Mo Lawn Care answered um, an hour after he posted. Miguel posted, "Don't use high pressure. Use high sodium chloride." Yep. That's right. Um, I wash my stucco homes exactly the same way I wash my vinyl homes. Uh, soft wash. I deliver the, the bleach and, and soap. I let it do its job and I rinse. I make sure I put it on even. Um, I rinse stucco. Um, I rinse the windows. I just want to make sure that everything's even. Of course, always test it in an inconspicuous spot. All right. So, but yeah, I do stucco homes the exact same way I do the vinyl homes. I really don't have any any difference. Um, I, okay. So yesterday I said in my vlog that I was doing a tribute video to Rocky, and I hope tribute video doesn't mean like you do that for somebody who died. It, it's not. Rocky's here, as you see in the vlog already today. Um, so mow and go grass cutting of Central Florida again. You get it twice. Boom. What's up with Rocky? Did I miss something? No, Rocky's fine. Um, I'm just doing a, a video, you know, out of love for my dog. <laughs> my wife used to always say, a man and his dog. So, um, that's all that is. It's not, there's nothing wrong with Rocky. He's fine. Um, John, Lincecum. Comment. Getting good. Uh, why didn't you get the yard at the 27 minute mark in today's video from the lady? Did she actually think you were too expensive? No, she knew the camera was on, so I was messing with her. And, um, but actually I refused the lawn because the edging was so bad and it looked like it was going to be a one-time deal. And I'm just, I'm not interested in doing that type of work anymore. So, um, and I don't want to give that work to somebody because it looked like, um, off camera, there was some editing done. Off camera, it didn't look like it was a yard that I wanted, and it did. And if I don't want it, um, I don't want to give it to somebody else and have it become their nightmare. I'd rather her just find somebody, honestly, and let that person deal with her. And I think she was a lot, she was hemming and hawing a lot, and uh, I did tell her fifty bucks for the yard, but then I told her, you know, cleanup's going to be probably eighty to a hundred dollars because it hasn't been edged in so long, and she about had a heart attack, so. Um, but I, I don't I could have done it for 50 bucks and Added maybe 40 minutes to my day because I had my helper, but uh, I'm just not interested in beating up my machines like that on that yard. That was a terrible that, that yard was terrible um, So if that makes any sense, but of course for the vlog. I mean, you know, we had some fun with her grass monkey lawn care Coming all right 
Hey Dan, have you found a good way to change the oil on the Gravely? I seem to make a big mess when I change mine with that hose they gave with mine. Seems like there has to be an easier way of doing it. Dude, I take the hose off. Uh, honest to God, I take the hose off and I just let that shit go everywhere. Um, I jack up the right side of the, or the left side of the mower. I put the mower on an angle and I put a um, um, catch can that I can trap the oil and bring it up to the recycling place and pour it in, a, a low profile catch can underneath the machine and I let that shit just go everywhere. Um, it sucks the way that is. That hose that they give you sucks and, and you got, it kind of goes up and so oil gets trapped in there and I'm really, really super picky. I don't want no oil getting trapped and I don't want, you know, if I'm going to change the oil, I want every drip and drop out. I let it go everywhere, dude. And it goes down and it goes into the, uh, the catch can there underneath the mower. And then after about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I'll pull the oil filter, which then makes a mess too. Um, I'll let it all drip out for like another 20 or 25 minutes and just finish all of its final draining. Of course, I have the dipstick pulled so air doesn't cause any vacuums or anything. And um, then I just wipe it down with paper towels. That's it. Once I have it all cleaned up, wipe down with paper towels. When I'm all done, I have everything all, all filled back up and I'm completely done. I just go ahead and hit it with a garden hose. Just, you know, make sure there's no residual there so that way I can look for any leaks. Um, it sucks the way that setup is. But, I mean, it is what it is. It's not, a, it's not a game changer for me. But, yeah, I feel your pain, dude. That's the comments. These and more. These are just from last night. Look, this is two pages. One, two, three. This is two pages all the way to yesterday after I put my vlog up. That's how many comments we got just just there. And now I know it's blowing up today because you guys watch my vlogs mostly during the daytime too. So um, a lot of you guys watch my vlogs during the day. So a lot of comments. So I'm doing the best I can to stay up with you guys. And I like this, this new system. Um, but we need to have a talk about your guys, your employees. Your little. We need to have a lesson today. Um, this is something that I learned from the military. Um, being a leader, being a sergeant, and then um, training the sergeants as a, you know, as I, I became a sergeant, and then I became a staff sergeant, and then I became a sergeant promotable, or staff sergeant promotable for E7, which is sergeant first class. Um, you really got to know what your guys' habits are, and you need to keep an eye on your guys, all right? Now, the perfect example is this guy that works with me. He doesn't do this all the time. He doesn't do this every day. It's very easy for me to forget, I do, and I've done this for a long time. A break in service, of course, you know, or a break for the service, but it's not a problem for me to work in 95 degree temperature, 95% humidity all day long and drink coffee until 2 in the afternoon and then have my first shot of water. Um, I've been doing that forever, my body's used to it, I'm used to it, I just keep on rolling. And if I start having issues, you know, like sugar crashing issues or something, then I know I'll just go grab a bag of Doritos and a soda or something, and I'm good to go. Um, that's you. That's me. That's not your people. So you need to know. So I know it's getting hot, and when my guy came to the truck today, the first thing I asked him was, you know, did you get some sleep last night? I want to know what, what, did he do? what did he do last night, and where was he? You know, was he out drinking? Um, so are we starting with a handicap already that he's dehydrated because of alcohol? Um, so the first thing he said to me was, I've been up since 1.30. And I'm like, why? What's, what's wrong? He's like, well, I, I had to go do the, the paper route thing that I do. It's not a paper route, but it, it's whatever. And I was like, oh, man, and you didn't go back to sleep? And he was like, no, because then I have to take my wife and Kathy and drop them off at their jobs and then come here. And I'm like, okay. So I know right off the bat, once that heat hits, once we get lunch in him and that heat, that heat of the afternoon hits him, he's going to be done. So I had to try to hydrate him and I kept pumping him up with water, make sure he had water, make sure he had, um, he got some sweet tea at lunch, got some sugars in him and he showed up with um, a Powerade or maybe it was a Gatorade. Um, so I was okay with that. Um, but I can, I can watch his decline. I can watch his energy level go down to crap. That's my washer if you just heard that. Um, you know, and 
I knew he was tired, but he wasn't saying that he had a headache. He wasn't dizzy. You know, I kept watching him and I could see that he was tired, but he was edging straight, weed eating straight. He wasn't really having a problem. But then I come around the corner on that last house we did and here he is vomiting. And I mean, everything he's got, he's vomiting. So all his fluids are now gone. His food's gone. And you know, when you vomit that hard, your head is pounding, your sinuses are impacted. So I knew right then and there, we're done. Now the question is, is this a medical emergency? Are we having heat exhaustion? Are we moving into heat stroke? Um, or is it, you know, was it lunch? Did the lunch upset him? Did he have a gag reflex? Like me, if sometimes I'll start coughing, I'll, I'll vomit, um, or I'll start gagging. And if I can't slow it down fast enough, I'll vomit. Um, you know, was, was that the problem? You know, what's, what happened? So he said he was trying to start the edger and it just came out um, and he couldn't stop it. So that doesn't sound like heat exhaustion to me because um, I asked him some simple question. You know, I was like, you know, do you have goosebumps right now? He's like, no. I'm like, are you dizzy? He's like, no, my head's pounding. I'm like, all right, are you dizzy? He's like, no. I'm like, you seeing any black shading in your eyes? Like your vision? He's like, no, I'm fine there. I'm like, you want to go home? You ready to go home? He's like, no, let's, no, let's finish up. And I was like, okay, well, you still got his sense about him. He's dumb, but he's got a sense about him. So I reduced it down to, um, I think his lunch didn't agree with him. Uh, he had bacon, turkey, cheese, and mayo. And it was probably a little bit too hot for him. He was probably too hot. Um, and it probably wasn't, wasn't working right in his stomach. So um, his body said, no, thank you. I don't want that. And got rid of it. Um, when we came home, he's exhausted, he's tired, his head's pounding, but he's all right. But once you once you vomit all your fluids, you're done. I mean, you're done. You can't be out there sweating. You need to go home, cool off, get in a bath, drink some water, drink some Powerade, you know, drink some electrolytes, some salts, stuff like that. These guys aren't used to it, and you're going to find a lot of people desperate for money, and they're going to say, yeah, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that, and they can't do that. They can't do what we do. Um, they need to slowly get into it. And as the temperatures are getting hotter, if they haven't already been getting acclimated to it, your guys are really gonna struggle. So just keep an eye on them, keep them hydrated. Um, that's our responsibilities as the boss, as leaders, whatever. Even if they're 1099 contractors, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you don't want people getting hurt um, out there on the job. So use your head, watch your guys, know their habits. If they're drinkers, ask them straight up. Were you drinking last night? You know, make it a joke. Who cares? The point is you need to know, are they starting with a handicap already? Do you need to go run and get some power, Powerade powder for them or something? Take it out of their pay if you have to. Um, but make sure that those guys are hydrated properly. Um, not, not drinking sodas all day and shit like that. Um, so that's really important. Um, all right, we got our... We got our comments in for the day. I still got my trimmers thing that that guy made for me from Sunday's vlog where we went downtown. As you can see, um, I keep that right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start going through my, uh, my clips. I'm going to get this video up, uh, get this all blended in, and get your comments um, thrown in there. Um, so And yep, Rocky's fine. But like I said, we got a little tribute video for him. So me and him will sit back and watch that video uh, probably this weekend. I'll probably um, get some, some clips of the kids with my dog and um, take it from there. So thanks, guys. Tomorrow's pressure wash day, so it should be fun. Um, I won't have my guy with me tomorrow. He'll be on his own doing some yards. So we should be able to do some more video and um, hopefully do some pressure wash videos. Oh, shit. So we'll see you real soon. Um, oh, the joke, the joke, the joke, the joke. We need our joke of the day. Joke of the day. My friend texted me. The joke of the day is... Drum roll, please. What happens to a grape when an elephant steps on it? What happens to a grape when an elephant steps on it? It lets out a little wine. You guys can thank Cindy for that. Thank you, Cindy. See you guys tomorrow.